you like how those animated titles and graphics look, you're in luck because today I'm going to show you how to make them using your smartphone. This is Mojo. It's an app for iOS and Android that lets you create custom videos using templates and animated text for social media posts and stories. They reached out to me recently to shoot a series of ads for their app and were nice enough to sponsor this tutorial on using Mojo for your YouTube videos and even client productions. You see, I've stumbled upon a bit of a trick that lets you use all of these great pre-made text animations and callouts on any video, not just for social media posts. It's super easy and way more intuitive than trying to animate titles in Premiere or even After Effects. So let's dive into the app and I'll show you how I made this intro sequence using Mojo. Okay, so real quick, I'm using an iPad Pro for this only because I want you to see my cursor and touch inputs, but everything I'm about to show you applies to the Android and iPhone versions of the app as well. We'll get started by opening up Mojo. The first thing you'll notice when you open the app is you're greeted with all of these awesome templates. I use these all the time for social media posts and Instagram stories, and they're also a great base for your own custom creations. Today, we're just making titles though, so we don't actually need a fancy template. We're just gonna use a blank one. Once you've selected a blank template, you'll notice that it's 916 canvas, which is portrait. Obviously, YouTube videos are 169, so we're gonna quickly click on the paintbrush here and select format. Now we have options for square, four by five, and what we need, which is 16 by nine. We'll click done, and here it is, our landscape canvas to work with. One last thing you'll want to do is just make this background black. This will make more sense when we're back in our video editor, but essentially you need a dark background so you can screen the text as an overlay on your video. So just go ahead and hit the paintbrush again, colors, and make the background black. Now we're ready to start making our titles. Tap on text, and this is where it gets fun. There's a ton of text templates and graphics to choose from, and this is truly why I love Mojo. I'm someone who works a lot better with what you see is what you get style interfaces, and I also just love using my iPad or iPhone for stuff like this. I find it way more intuitive than using After Effects or a built-in text composer and an editor, and honestly, it's just way easier in my opinion. There's just so much to choose from here, and I definitely urge you to experiment and have some fun with them. Now, if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that Make It Glow this neon style is one of my favorites, so let's hit that one and type in our title. One of the cool things is once you have your template, you can customize it even more. You can play with different fonts, sizing, and colors to make it unique and your own. I'm pretty lazy, so I usually just leave the default typeface and call it a day. So that's our first title. We'll just save it to our device. Now, if we click on our templates, you can see we have the first frame of our sequence of titles. And what's cool is I can just click on this first title and duplicate it, so I have a themed starting point and I don't have to start from scratch. So for this next title, we're gonna do a list of specs. So I'll pick a template under special and we'll select this bullet list template. Boom, that's our second title, nicely animated and ready to go. We'll save that and we only have one left. Now we're getting to our main title here. So I'm gonna play around here. I'm gonna use this VHS effect and we'll type in our text. Now, if you wanna get creative and experiment, you can also do multiple lines in one page. So say you wanted a subtitle like we want here under your main title, you can add another animation and type in your text and now you have a sequence. You can even change the in and out points of when those animations happen. So the customization here is really clutch. At this point, you're pretty much done with your phone or tablet. You just need to transfer these video files onto your computer. This might be the only clunky process of all of this, but trust me, if you're someone who uses Mac OS and iOS, this is actually really easy because all you have to do is airdrop it. Okay, so I've imported our titles into our editor. I'm using Final Cut Pro, but any editor will have the same basic principles here. You just wanna lay your titles on top of your footage the same way you would with any other title, but the only difference now is you're gonna set your compositing blend mode to screen. This is why it was important to use a black background, so you have contrast between the text and the backdrop for it to blend. If you wanna use black text, just swap your background for white, otherwise pretty much every other color will work on black. But now that you can see that our titles are lined up, you can see that our sequence is done. It's pretty crazy that these were all made on an iPad in probably under five minutes. This isn't what Mojo was designed for, but I think it's a really fun and easy workflow, and it makes your smartphone or tablet an extension of your computer. When you're sitting down to work, you can quickly tap out some titles and add them to your video on the fly. Plus, you get the added benefit of Mojo being a powerful standalone app for Instagram stories and social media posts. I wanna thank Mojo again for sponsoring this video. This is an app that I've always wanted and they've done a really great job with it. Don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions about Mojo, I'll find you in the comments and you'll hear me next time I feel like making a video.